hello guys and welcome back so now in this video we will write our script for the health bar so that whenever the zombie damage the player the health bar will simply decrease so for that we have this health bar let's actually minimize that and right here we will add a script so go inside the scripts folder right here let's create a new c sharp script by the name of health bar let's add this health bar right here to the help bar game object and let's open this up in windows studio code right here we will remove these two functions and first of all we need a reference to our help bar slider okay as i told you by the using the slider we will increase and decrease the health so let's type health bar slider and to this health bar slider we will assign the health bar slider after that we need to type a function to give full health to the player and how we will do that and let me show you create a public void by the name of give full health and in here we will be needing a health okay so you can type float health and to this variable we will pass the player present health okay and as you know in the start function the present health equals to the player health which is 120 so right here we will say help our slider dot max value and the max value will be equals to the health okay which we will be passing from the player script right here and also when we will be adding help out to our enemy then as you know the enemy also have a health variable so we will pass that to this script and this script is basically a universal script okay after that when we make the max value of the slider help our slider as health okay let me show you this is basically this max value and as you know our maximum value will be 120 so now this health is 120 and the maximum value of the health bar slider will be 120 okay and the game starts and it will then just go like this and now we need to add the minimum value as well okay and the minimum value is as you know is zero so for that we will also say help our slider dot value and this will be equals to health okay so when the health becomes zero this present health becomes zero then this will already know that okay this is the maximum low value for the health which will be basically zero after that we want to the update the health bar whenever the zombie hit us so we will create a function for that by the name of public float let's set this to set health right here we will also need a health and in here we will simply say help our slider dot value and this will be equals to health okay let's save this and at the top we need to add this unity dot ui and then we can save it okay because we are dealing with the unity ui so we need to add that right there okay right here we need to make this word i just noticed this now we made it float there save it get back to unity right here now as you can see we have help our slider reference let's drag and drop our slider okay and now you will be thinking that now the help bar will work but it will not because we didn't add the help bar to our player so on the player script right here in the player help things after this player damage let's create a reference to our help bar so we will say help bar and let's say help bar okay and as you know we need to provide the max value to our health bar when the game starts so after this right here we will say health bar dot 
give full health this is basically the function which we created right here as you can see and in here we will pass the player health which is 120 okay this is the player health so now the helper will have the maximum value and now it need it needs just the value okay in order to update the helper so for that after when we take the damage and we show the damage indicator after that we want to decrease the health bar so now we will call the health bar dot set health function and in here we will call now the present health of the player okay and in just few steps you can add health bar to any object or any player or any enemy ai okay you can add this health bar to anything now but the catch is that you need to provide the health bar to each game object for example if i am adding the health bar for the zombie then i will add a health bar right here on top of the zombie head and then as we did in this video in just few steps you can just add the health bar to the zombie and we will be adding that to the zombie but in the later videos so for now just save that and now if we click on the player we need to provide the health bar there so let's try and drop the health bar and now when we play the game there is the health bar let's run towards the zombie as you can see now the health bar is decreasing and when it becomes zero the player will die let me open up the player script and let's change this to 2.18 because this the zombie hitting animation okay the attacking animation is 2.18 seconds as you can see right there so I have added that and right here let's make its uh, time between attacks to 2.18 as well now let's save it and play the game again let me run towards the zombie as you can see now when we hit us when the zombie hit us then it plays the damage indicator and also the it decreases the health so with this done catch guys in the next video